Hello guys, it's wonderful that you are watching this very third part and concluding part of this tutorial video. If you have not watched the part 1 and the part 2, check the description below. The link will be there to access the part 1 and the part 2 of this tutorial video. If you have not done that, please do it before you start watching this tutorial. And don't worry about the color wheel like I've always been saying. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to get the reference, how to get a color wheel, how to get every colors I use on this hat, okay? And then you can easily get it and then use it for your own and then use it for any other thing you want to use it for. So now, I just want to try my best to fill in the color right now. Okay, so after I've traced the color roundabout, I'm going to use my fill box to fill in the color. That fill tool, do you see there? So you click on it and then you fill the color. And now I will have to remove the background of this particular picture, okay? Um, I will have to use my selection tool. I will use my selection tool to select this color and then I will invert it, okay? You just drag to one side like this and then you cl click on it right and then you come back to the reference and then you choose your eraser okay you can increase it to any size and then you begin to erase the background you can see what i'm doing so it will automatically erase the background for you anywhere the eraser, eraser search but if the color is not properly selected then it will also remove or clean the reference picture that you are trying to protect okay so just be sure just to be sure rather that uh, your color is well selected before you go ahead to use your eraser okay uh, so guys in case you are having problem with using your own selection tool uh, this is what we are going to do just click on that uh, selection and then you click on this uh, magic wand and then if it is on last so change it to magic wand all right and click on that box with plus and then it should be activated so let's put this color on blend modes and then uh, you can duplicate it put the one below on multiply now it, it, it depends on the picture you are working with though and then i don't really like to use this method because sometimes it frustrates okay but you can just go home with it because I discovered that a lot of you get used with this tile. So that's why I'm using it for this tutorial. Okay. And then just let me reduce the color. Let's see what we have here. 55. Just adjust the color to what can satisfy you. Okay. And we still end up changing it. Let's see 60. Okay. Let's duplicate and then put it on uh, linear dodge. Oh, yes. Let's put it on linear dodge. And then let's reduce the layer. That's to give it a little bit of highlight all through. Okay. And then let's see what soft light will also produce for us. Okay. Let's see. Um, well, I think it's better like this at 12. 
okay and then the color let's see check out the color um i think it's better at 63 let's check the effect of all other layers all right okay i think it's cool so i will still use selection to select the color so that i can smudge effectively without what i'm uh anything i'm smudging going out of uh, the picture angles okay so i will have to go to my smudge brush now and begin to smudge please this is where a lot of people have problem the strength is uh seven i'll put the strength of seven and then the flow at five and i can even change it, it depends but on this tutorial i will maintain that okay but this is where a lot of you always have problem you don't always come down to it to, to, to smudge so that is why i will even keep my voice low in this area just pay your full attention pay full attention i may not have to talk throughout this smudging area pay your full attention okay and then you see it's not difficult
so friends let us go ahead and uh, begin to do our dark shades okay those are the darker areas and then if you check by the end of this video you will see the color i used and then you can get it on my instagram account you just screenshot it and import it to your sketchbook okay so it will save you a lot of stress you just color pick it and then begin to use it okay so the color i use for this dark shade it is there just screenshot it i will make a short video of that after this video still in this video right but at the end okay so just make the darker areas to be more dark not so obvious but at least make it dark okay to show that you use shades okay Likewise, um, for the highlight, the color so is on the color wheel I posted on my Instagram. Like I said earlier, I'm going to leave um, a short video of that after at the end of this video so that you can know how to access it and then the reference picture so that you can download it and then you work on it. So you can submit this work and then I can make uh, a short video of everybody's work on this. Okay. And then i'll post it on my youtube and then i will make corrections public corrections okay so you can join my whatsapp group also through this video just check the description box okay and then you will see the links there you see the link to my instagram you see the link to my facebook you see the link to my whatsapp so you see the link to my telegram okay so that you can submit your work so once you just join my group on whatsapp or on telegram so do well to, to to submit this work okay so you will get the reference picture on my telegram and then the color everything you need to know about this work okay on how to get anything i use whatsoever on this work you are going to to see it on my instagram okay so i'm putting the highlight now just pay attention okay be using your ear to hear what i'm saying and then you use your mind to follow what i'm doing okay so like i said earlier like i texted earlier if you want a personal tutor if you want me to teach you personally okay that you want me to take it upon myself to teach you then message me either on whatsapp or facebook or on instagram for me to know you come from my youtube channel okay because i'll be doing an offer so for me to actually know you come from my youtube just text premium or personal tutor okay then i will know okay come from my youtube channel all right if you don't text that and just tell me you need a personal tutor or premium videos or just say it in any way then i may have to charge you higher okay so but if you come from my youtube channel don't worry there are a lot of free things for you okay there are a lot of free things for you 
for a lot of free things for you. So if you want me to tell you personally, just send the text like I have said earlier on. Okay, so these highlights they are nothing diff difficult, just put the light uh, colors in the lighter areas, okay. friends just be careful the kind of background you use for this works okay not all background can be used you can either use your radial background or you do um, just a simple background like this one you are looking at on your screen or you use a cloudy background like uh, the second one okay all right so you can delete anything you don't want on the work and then it only remain those things that you want okay so let's duplicate i want to turn it to 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 blue now like the reference actually looks like okay so put the blend mode on color lock it and then the color i'm about to use now is still on my instagram so if you screenshot it you will see the color all right you can just screenshot everything at once and then you will see the colors there just go there follow me on instagram okay do well to follow me don't just go there and download do well to follow me there also so that you can always get you know updates from me thank you as you are doing that all right so um, you can now just don't worry the color i use don't bother if i'm changing the color or anything the final color i used is on my instagram so the thing i wanted to do now is just go there and download it i mean screenshot it okay and then you can reduce the opacity of your layer to anything that satisfies you okay 
but note when i say anything that satisfies it doesn't mean you should just use it anyhow but make it productive make it you know um useful use it in a very creative way all right How to get the reference picture or the color I use? Go to your Instagram, all right, and then click on this search uh, icon. Okay, and then you search for T Sam Graphics. It is displaying on your on on your screen right now. You see how I customized it, all right? T Sam Graphics, P H I X, not P H C X, all right. So search it, and then here it is. Look at the picture right here. Click on it. And then you drag you know how Instagram operates so you drag it till you reach the color then you can screenshot all right so let me screenshot this all right so once you screenshot it take it to your sketchbook application and then you color pick the color and here's the reference but in case you know this reference is not complete then you can go to telegram okay click on telegram and then you click on the search icon search for this uh, Autodesk sketchbook Alright, you can see I'm typing it on my screen also. Autodesk Sketchbook and click on that search icon and then Autodesk Sketchbook bracket T Sam. So click on it, enter the group, and then here is the reference. By the time you are joining the group, the reference may have gone up or anything like that. So you can just request for it. And I'm going to send it again on Telegram. Bye for now.